Hey, it's Chris. I get asked a lot of questions about how do you feed kids healthy foods in the age of processed food like that? Isn't it impossible? So I invited a guest host whom I adore, the charming Annie McCaskill Peen, my daughter, and she actually does it with her family, and here's how she does it. Hi, I'm Annie Bean from FeedThemPlants.com. Yes, my last name is Bean like the vegetable, and my mission is to help your whole family love vegetables. But I grew up as an avowed veggie hater, actually. I got to college only liking two vegetables, raw baby carrots and corn on the cob. That's it. Salad? Gross. So you can imagine how disappointed I was when my husband was in medical school and we started to learn more about nutrition and about how important vegetables were in preventing disease. Vegetables? Ugh. I should clarify. My husband didn't learn about nutrition in medical school. In fact, in his eight years of college and three years of training, it was hardly mentioned. And he is a family practice doctor who has many, many patients come to him every day about problems relating to nutrition. So how did he and I learn about nutrition? A few excellent books and a lot of reading original research in the field. If you just pay attention to popular press, you'd think that a healthy diet changes as often as the headlines. And if you just pay attention to federal guidelines, you're pretty much looking at the food industry's lobbying power. The healthiest people the world over eat a lot of fiber. Animal foods don't have fiber. Whole plant foods do. Which means if you want to be healthy, you better be eating plants. Now, heart disease, cancer, diabetes, obesity, so many of the problems that are plaguing the vast majority of Americans are improved or eliminated completely on a plant-based diet. But what is a veggie hater to do with this information? Well, my husband and I, my meat-loving soon-to-be future doctor husband and I, faced the facts and we changed our diet. We said, hey, we'll try it for six weeks, see how we feel eating plants. Now, we ate a lot of black beans and salsa at first because that was pretty much the only vegan food we really liked. We also had some fruit, um, lots of multigrain toast with nut butter. We did not eat a lot of leafy greens because you. But we stuck with it, felt fantastic, and decided that we needed to keep this change for life. Here we are 12 years later, and my palate has changed, just like the plant-based doctor said it would. After the first month or two, I started to like a lot of different foods that I didn't think were possible for me. Mushrooms, zucchini, spinach, lots of leafy greens. I still ignore headlines about healthy diets in the popular press. And I still haven't seen any good science that suggests adding meat or dairy or processed food to a diet improves it. So we haven't. Here's the thing though, since we changed our diet, we've had kids. Kids! Five of them! And let me tell you, that changes things. After all, kids want chicken nuggets! Kids want chicken Kool-Aid! Nugget! Kids need Kool-Aid! Kids won't eat anything unless it's processed or sweet. False. That's not true. My kids eat salad and love it. My kids eat vegetables for almost every meal. I love vegetables. But it's true. But it's true. <laughs> Parents have been duped. Billions of dollars of marketing have gone into this idea that kids somehow need different food in order to be happy, well-adjusted people. And we believe them because we're trying to be good parents. We want happy kids. And yet the very things we're reaching for that are so convenient and are marketed with happy kids on the billboards tend to make our kids sick. They're causing our kids to be overweight and have a variety of health problems much earlier in life than we've seen in any other generation. Greater than 90% of kids in America don't even eat the minimum vegetables recommended by the government each day. And my kids eat them for almost every meal. They love vegetables. They eat just like their parents eat. My kids aren't different from your kids. They're regular kids, but we do have a different food culture in our home. I follow a few principles that really set us apart from mainstream eating, and it's made a tremendous difference in how we approach mealtime. I have five kids and I don't have a personal chef or a nanny. I know it's hard just to get food on the table, much less fuss over what that food is. 
but I'm convinced we can do better without that much more effort. Healthy food doesn't have to be fancier and you're gonna save a lot of money on healthcare costs down the road when you prioritize purchasing produce and preparing foods at home. I created feedthemplants.com to help moms get the information they need so they can change the food culture in their families. I wanna help you with your picky eaters. I wanna help you get food on the table faster. I wanna help you navigate the produce aisle of the grocery store. Let's do it. Oh my gosh, you're worse than the kids. Don't come eat hot peppers in my photo shoot. Sorry. Don't mind me. <laughs> kids demand kids menus. I want kids menus. Oh, that's just creepy. Okay, go ahead. 